know there's a huge controversy over, you know, d does does food cause acne? Um, you know, what kind of food should I eat or avoid? It's a lot of controversy over it, and my theory is I haven't seen a huge direct correlation among the food that I eat versus how my skin looks. Um, but I think regardless of the fact, we should try to eat healthy and clean because it will not do anything harmful to our skin and it will do great things for our body. But here are kind of some of the theories and what I have learned from um, food and food source and whatnot. So my parents, neither of them really had acne and they didn't really have acne the way I have it and the way a lot of people have it. And they, they grew up overseas in China and so they weren't really exposed to a lot of the processed foods. They had no KFC, they had no McDonald's, they ate, you know, like stir fry spinach and you know dumplings and porridge and you know just food that you would have to cook yourself and neither of them went through acne problems um, my mom said she did get a little bit of like red spots and stuff like that but it, she said it only lasted for a few months and she couldn't believe that I have been suffering with acne for over 15 years so <laughs> so you know it's just a whole nother generation now Additionally, I mean, just look back like at the old days. Like, if you look back at the older pictures, um, even in like the 1930s, 1940s, you don't really see people with acne. You don't really see that um, around. You know, you don't really see um, pictures of people with cystic acne and all this weird stuff going on their face. And one of the theories is that nowadays our food is just being plugged with so many toxins and artificials that our skin, our hormones are being affected and it's showing up in our skin. Um, and so it's really important to eat clean. Um, and you know, I'm very hypocritical of this too. I am a normal human being and sometimes, you know, that 32 ounce of Pepsi and butter popcorn looks so good while at the movies and you know, I am human and sometimes I will eat not very good for me, but I think it's important to realize that there is a correlation between how your body is and how your skin looks and how you feel and the foods that you eat. Um, you know, right now they have high fructose corn syrup, artificially manufactured fats and oils that we put in our bodies on a daily basis that are not from the earth, that are made in the lab, and that may be causing our hormones to go crazy and creating this hormonal acne that we see today that they didn't have, you know, 50 years ago. And so I actually went back to China recently I actually went back to China and I saw so many people had terrible skin over there. I could not believe the um, the just 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 oh nasty skin. And you think of like you know Asian people, Chinese people as having beautiful, soft, smooth skin, and I couldn't believe it because you know my parents' generation they never had this thing. It wasn't really like. It wasn't really a problem back in the day. And I think the huge reason is, is now all these corporations like McDonald's and KFC and Starbucks and all these people, they're going in and people are eating these foods regularly. And, you know, this kind of group of people are not used to eating these foods and it's wreaking havoc on their skin. And I think that's really important to know is just processed foods is not that great. And processed foods meaning any kind of food that you can't really cook yourself, any kind of food that has preservatives and um, is not fresh is not very good for you. The second thing is dairy. So dairy is controversial with acne. I suggest if you do have acne and you've tried a lot of things to quit out dairy for three months and see how your skin is and if you notice any kind of significant change. Um, there's a lot of hormones in dairy and they need to feed the cow something to produce a lot of milk and that can go into our blood and our on our own bodies and it may alter kind of the hormones or it may irritate it which will show up on our face so that is also um, you know something to be aware of processed meats there's a lot of preservatives and processed meats we don't really know what's in processed meats so it's best to eat um, 
to eat fresh meat, fresh food whenever you can. The other controversy is about gluten. So I was gluten free for about half a year last year and I was so disciplined. I did not eat any kind of um, bread or any kind of thing like that and I was very, very hungry. <laughs> I don't remember I just eat all this like corn chips and stuff but um, basically what gluten does is gluten gluten is a protein and um, it's found in a lot of white bread um, any kind of white floury stuff um, kind of white bread carbohydrate kind of products like biscuits and maybe some cereals um, and what it does or what people say it does is that it raises your glycemic levels which is your blood sugar levels um, and when your blood sugar levels keep going up and down and there's this irregularity in your blood sugar, it is not good for your skin. And it can cause acne and people say it can cause weight gain and all this kind of stuff. So if, if the dairy thing didn't work, if you didn't really notice a change in your skin with dairy, I would suggest cutting out gluten for maybe three months and seeing how that works for you. So those are the three food categories uh, that you should be aware of when having acne. One is the processed foods, two is dairy, three is gluten, and four is just sugar. Sugar, refined sugar, sugar in soda, sugar in um, um, Debbie, what is it, Debbie something snacks, just sugar all around. And you know, again, I'm not perfect. I do sometimes eat those foods, but just be cognizant that that will affect your skin and your healthy living and just try to eat clean most of the time. It's not necessarily you should, you know, try to be 100% perfect. You shouldn't set unrealistic expectations when trying to eat clean, but just stick with the 80-20 rule. Start simple. Just be like, you know, 80 of the foods I eat will be clean and 20% will be, you know, packaged or whatever and gradually go down from there. Make that 20%, 15%, 15%, 10% and so on and see how, you know, your skin is, see how you're feeling and see how your health is as a general result. her a few times asking questions before buying and she responded to all of them. It didn't hurt that much. My boyfriend commented that I had a beautiful glow to my face. I've actually had microneedling treatments done at my dermatologist's office before. I probably spent almost $2,000 over a course of a few months. Banish Acne Scar Kit works just as well as getting the treatment done at my doctor's office. These are the serums. This is the Dr. Pericone one, and this is the one we have. 